Good morning everyone from New Aurelia, Sri Lanka. We today are going on a last little tour of our driver. How are you? Good? Fine. Uh, rounds, loads of tea factories, a uh, waterfall and where else was it? There was something else on the agenda, yeah, I guess. The viewpoint. Uh, the viewpoint. The viewpoint. Um, so we just stopped off at a tea plantation now, uh, just having a look around and we're going to head to the tea factory shortly afterwards. Apparently they're really good here, apparently you get free tea, they're free to enter, free to look around. So yeah, super excited. Um, we've got around three and a half hours of our driver today. Um, so yeah, it's going to be an exciting day. We're going to head into New Aurelia later as well. Um, we've got mu much more exploring to do. So yeah, for now, excited. let's go get ourselves some fresh Sri Lankan tea. First stop of the day is a Damro tea. So apparently this is one of the biggest tea plantations here in New Aurelia. Um, and yeah, I mean, we've got a tour of a couple of tea plantations here today, but this is gonna be the first one. So we're gonna have a look around the factory, see exactly how the tea's made. Apparently we get complimentary tea afterwards. We can try the different ones. Um, but yeah, so we're just having to wait now for our little tour guys. So, I mean, it's very, very busy here. So many tourists. Yeah, you can get a tea plantation tour here, which is 15,000 rupees so it's quite a lot whereas the factory itself is free so we'll probably just do the factory as we've got a lot to do today um but yeah now is it's like for the tour mm. So that is a tour of the factory done. And now we're sitting down to hopefully try some tea. Um, apparently it's free here. I'm not sure how many you get to try, but uh, yeah, super excited to give this a try. Ooh, what do we have? There we go. This is B.O.P. 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 So is this the English? English, English tea. Cool, thank you. Oh, thank you. Ooh, that looks lovely. So this is the English B.O.P. tea. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, we've got a slice of chocolate cake. Right then, time for a bit of a taste test. Beth's assured me it's not too hot, mm. so I bet I'll burn my mouth this time. Mm. It's nice. Mm, yeah, it actually tastes exactly the same as the tea we get at home, like PG tips or mm, uh, twinings, I think Yorkshire you tea. Mm, yeah, that's nice. Mm. Really nice. Obviously, Beth ordered some cake, being... You did say you were hungry. The one she is, but tea and cake is very much what we have Thank in England. Much. So, I mean, yeah, it's a tea. Normally it's tea and scones, but today we get tea and cake. So quite an English little feel. Feel like I'm back this at home a little bit. The, the smell around here is insane. All you can smell is tea. It's so good. Um, but hopefully this naughty little is Chocolate nice. Chocolate looks nice. Mm. How good is it? That is amazing cake. That's the best cake I've had from being in Sri Lanka. Really? Yeah, that's old a, statement, but honestly. It's a big old statement. That's there. amazing. Uh, I'll give it, I mean, I'll give it a go. It doesn't look all that appetizing, but I trust best word mm. for it. It's incredible. Let's have a look. If I can get some on my fork, that is. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Mmm. It's quite good actually. It's better than the ones we had in Pereira and Sons. Yeah, so this cake's definitely, the Pereira and Sons cakes are a bit dry. This mm. is a lot better than that. Um, yeah, it's actually quite nice. Different to the cakes we get at home, but still really nice. I'm, um, mm. yeah. And it's a little bit warm. It is a little bit warm. Little bit warm. Mm. Mm. Tea, cake. Right, that is Dambro Tea Factory done. We're now heading back into our reliable little trusty seed of a tuk-tuk and we're gonna head to the waterfalls and a viewpoint. We've got another around two hours left to this tour. So yeah, that is a- uh, So excited. Mm. There's so much here as well that you yeah. don't, that you can't see kind of on the train journey or anything. So it's quite nice that you get to yeah, it's around. Yeah, it's really nice here. The clouds are just clearing up a little bit now. So it's getting a bit warmer. It was so cold this morning, um, but now, yeah, it looks good. Uh, I can see some sun poking out over there. Uh, so the sides of the tuk tuk are coming up and we should get a nice little tour. So we have just stopped at one of the viewpoints, um, but we're so high in the clouds here. Like you can just over there, which what, I don't know, like 50, 100 meters, it's pure cloud. It's kind of passing through a little bit so you can see all the stuff down there. But yeah, it's mental. Like we've come straight from Aragon Bay then to Ella to here. Aragon Bay to here is a stark contrast of how like the temperature, the people, 
how far up in the clouds we are. It's, uh, and you can see clouds up there. Yeah, it's insane. It's so cool here. We actually love it here in New Area. It might be one of our favorite places. Um, you can see so far in the distance, you've got a big river down there, all these roads. Yeah, this is sick. This is actually quite nice, isn't it? It's amazing. So cool. Second stop on this tour, we are at the Ramboda Waterfalls. We just had to pay 200 rupees to get in, which is insanely cheap. Um, I'm not sure if that's just a tourist thing or not, but yeah. We're now walking up these stairs. Apparently there's like a 20 minute walk to the top or something. So, I mean, we don't know entirely. It's dangerous getting into the water, okay? So you can't swim here, I don't think. Um, we're not entirely sure what to expect, but apparently it's one of the best things to do here. So yeah, I mean, we are excited. Of course, it involves a bit of a trek, but it's beautiful around here. So yeah, let's see what this waterfall has to offer. This is actually a proper, proper trek. I took the driver's said around 20 minutes, but it's pure, pure steps uphill. Uh, they're not very stable either, a bit slippy. Wow, I'm actually blowing. So out of breath. I think we've got about another 10 minutes to go. Wow. So we finally made it to what I think is the main viewpoint. You can go even further up. But we've been trekking for so long now before we stop here and get this naughty little viewpoint. I see a few tourists down there as well. Um, it looks like we've got a bit of a, like a lake thing there. Uh, loads of little waterfalls to the left and one huge one to the right. It looks unreal. We're going to head down there now, climb some of the rocks, maybe stand where those tourists are, get a bit of a better view. But from here, insane. It's so good. Looks like something straight from like Jurassic Park or something. Like unreal, so so nice. Yeah. Wow, this is insane. You've literally got like waterfalls from all angles. You've got a waterfall up there, a waterfall here, a little one here, that huge one up there, and then it all goes down there, all the way down like yeah, the valley. But this is insane. It's so, so big, cool. and it's massive, isn't it? So nice. We want to try and get up there afterwards, get a photo because, yeah, that looks sick. So this is what it looks like close up. You can probably not hear me very well, but yeah, it's sick. All this, all this down here, and then that thing there. So pretty sick little photo opportunity here. Um, it looks, honestly, straight out of Jurassic Park. It's so cool, unreal. Now we've got the 15 minute descent back down. Uh, we might check out further up, see where that takes us, or we might go straight down, not sure yet. But yeah, this is wicked, isn't it? Okay. So we just stopped in a short eat shop, and it's the first time I've actually seen these rotis getting made. So you've got the potato mix, you've got a bit of like uh, flour, pasty stuff, and then the pastry there. It rolls them up into triangles and then obviously bake some after that but yeah i've never actually seen them being made before so that's quite interesting we always eat them but never see them get made this is probably the best price shop we've had so what we did we ordered one of these one of these one of these and one of these and a water and it came to 500 rupees which is like insane yeah, that's so the best cute. price we've paid so far um so yeah i mean can't wait to tuck into the coconut roti yeah. and i think that was just potato roll, potato roll yeah. and then vegetable roti and then egg and vegetable yeah. roti. Uh -huh. so we're going to tuck into these in our little tuk tuk and head to our next stop which is the viewpoint i think um maybe or back home i'm not sure we'll soon find out but it's, it's lovely here so so nice we uh we really do we are really enjoying it here aren't we yeah i love it and you are it's so pretty mm. This is our third and final stop. We're on top of like a shop here, a souvenir shop, and we've got this insane view, like a panoramic view of all these different waterfalls and everything around there, which is mental. It's so nice it's here. So nice. Like the view you get is incredible. You literally have a 360 yeah. of like just everything. It's insane. <laughs> so we've got waterfall one, waterfall two, another waterfall down there in the distance. And then over here, you've got all the rice paddies and stuff. And then over there, I think it's a river, but it might be a lake. Uh, I guess all the water from the mountains feeds into them. Yeah, it's insane here. The clouds have done us a good favor by opening up a little bit. So oh, it's actually really hot now. We've been moaning the whole time saying it's so, it's so cold. cold. And now I'm sweating. Made the bad. mistake of not bringing some summer clothes. Mm. 
today. Cool. And how much are these ones? This one's uh, 9,500. Okay. Sure. Okay, cool. Cool, thank you. So it looks like we found ourselves in a little bazaar. It's called Bayo Bazaar. It was actually quite hidden actually. Um, came in from that way. And yeah, we're having a look around the winter branded selection. How much are they? Oh, like that. His tracksuit bottoms are really nice no, as well. We're going to spend so much. Yeah, there's loads here. I think it might be a bit small. <laughs> so there's loads of like oh North Face God. jackets, Under Armour jackets, and uh, it's all winter based here. So fleeces, um, nice shirts. Oh, that's quite nice. Uh, they're not as pushy as Candy, actually. The guys here are really nice. Um, in Candy, as soon as you walked in, everyone swarmed you, but not too bad here, actually. Um, Oh, yeah, no, that's way too small. Do you have maybe oh, that's UK nice. 10? Isn't that so nice? Yeah, that's really nice. Do you have maybe UK 10? 10 or 14. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah so all these have like uh, English prices yeah. on there. Well, price, these are huh? euros. Yeah, they're nice. Mm. But, Cheaper price. Come. Yeah. Without name also I have, pants also we have. Are they from England? No, Sri Lanka. Uh, Sri Lanka, yeah. made in Sri Lanka uh, and export yeah. quality. Made in Sri Lanka, uh, okay. so good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the name also we have, without name also I have. Sure, okay. So this yeah. is without name also, Mark is oh, sure. Cheaper see. price I will give for you. Yeah. Cool. Thank, okay. you. thank you. We just have a look around and then oh, we'll okay. come back come to back. the best okay. one. So thank you. Mm. Oh, yeah. Nice. Mm. So this is good one. Yeah, they're nice. Cool. This yeah. is small logo. Sure, sure. Good. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you. And these are nice. Mm. They're nice. Yeah, if I was going home, I'd definitely grab one of those. These caps are quite cool. Those are caps. Oh. I do actually need a new hat. Oh, yeah, they all seem to be selling the same stuff here. It's all kind of like North Face <laughs> Jack Wheels. Like every single shop you go to, they all have pretty much the same stuff. This is the first hat store we've seen though, actually. Um, yeah. yeah, these are quite cool, actually. Does that say for fashion? Yeah. So, yeah, we just had a quick look around in the Bay of Bazaar. Uh, we don't actually have the right money on us or anything at the moment because we did the tour. So we might head back here tomorrow and do a bit of a little market hunt because some of the stuff was really cool. Uh, some of the guys we met in there were really nice as well. Um, yeah. so they the love it as soon as you whip the camera out, they're like, oh, YouTube! Yeah, yeah, as soon as we got our camera out, they, uh, they all shouted YouTube, so <laughs> they, were, they seemed quite nice. The prices were a bit hit and miss, some people said very expensive, some people said quite cheap, so I guess we'll have to bath it down. Now we're going to check out another gym that we were supposed to do before we went in there, and then, yeah, I guess we'll head back, chill out, and go for a lovely curry in Ambao's, which I'm, I really can't wait can't for. Can't wait. It's so good. So, so good. Day has turned into night, it's, the sun has gone down completely now and it's time for our ambals. Still really busy in here compared to earlier. So I guess, I don't really know what the etiquette is here. Do we just walk in or? so busy. Maybe, yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi. Table for two? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, still so, so busy in here. I mean, I guess it hasn't stopped since we came earlier. Which is always a good thing. Busier places usually mean that they're better. We're we told to go up these stairs, hopefully more seating. We could be segregated. Uh, yeah. Foreigners go upstairs and locals go downstairs by the looks of things. It looks very popular with the locals here as well, foreigners. Yeah. Yeah, so it is foreigners upstairs, locals downstairs. We've got the menu here. I mean, we looked through it earlier, but still, it looks so good. It looks so good. I don't know what to have. I'm f I already know what I'm getting. Do you? I'm either going for the mas masala or the, the butter masala or tikka masala. I'll go tikka, you get butter. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's always a good thing. So I'm going to go for butter masala. Best will go for tikka. I think. Oh, penne tikka is a starter there. Price samosas. Good. We'll get some samosas as well because. We do love our samosas. Um, yeah, I love myself a garlic naan. So definitely a garlic naan, like a big one. Sounds We have to try tandoori roti. Yeah. Oh, tandoori roti. Sounds so good. That does sound good. Yeah. We're gonna go all out tonight, I think. Have a big old meal. 
so dinner has arrived. We've got jira, gyro, gyro rice, a garlic butter masala, and a no, is it? Butter masala. butter masala, tikka masala. We've got a tandoori roti for the first time ever, and then some lovely looking garlic butter naan. So, wow, I can't wait to I tuck think in. You put it all on our plate. Yeah, you do. You do. So, you kind of like put it all on your big plates here and then mix it all in and eat it that way. So, yeah, I mean, we'll sort this out and get stuck in and let you know guys know what it tastes like. We're gonna go for the roti first. Um, it's supposed to be tandoori roti, but pretty much tastes just like normal roti. But we might go for Beth's tikka masala with the roti and see how that goes. Ooh. Ooh. That is incredible. Mm. That is insane. Really, really good. Let's try now the butter masala with a bit of gyro rice. It's really, really nice, but the tikka is definitely better. 100% better. Oh, I've also got in with the garlic naan. <laughs> but it's actually incredible. Mm -mm. This tikka is so good. Let's now. Haven't yet tried any of the butter garlic naan. The butter garlic naan? See what it's like. Mm -hmm. Again, incredible. This meal, for the price as well, it's so reasonably priced. You get such big portion sizes. Can't wait to get really stuck in and finish this off because this is insane. Wow, incredible. That was so good. I mean, it only lasted us about 20 minutes, but. All good, what thank you. It? Yeah, thanks so much. Oh, that was lovely. Was yeah. It was so good. Yeah, yeah. so full. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> we'll, we'll sleep well tonight. <laughs> thank you, sir. Yeah. Very nice, thank you. Oh. That is a dinner done. We've now walked out of the restaurant on our way back home, and of course, typical Little English style, it's raining. So we've got around a 10, 20 minute walk back in the rain, so we're gonna get soaked. It's um, cold but as well. for now, we are gonna to go to Colombo tomorrow for our first ever trip there. We're gonna go there for one night and then we're gonna to head to Jaffna afterwards uh, just to break up the journey. But tomorrow, yeah, super excited to head to Colombo because neither of us have been there yet and we've heard such good things about it. So for now, it's a wrap and tomorrow we've got Colombo. See you there.